Hello everyone. Today we're going to learn about reverse policy notation, which is a way to simplify a mathematical expression. Okay, so the best way to understand reverse policy notation is to understand what are not reverse policy notation. So let's look at the example. On the left, there, uh, there's an expression uh, which is called infect notation. It is what we all familiar with. Uh, and it's very simple. Um, we have 4 plus parentheses, 7 minus 3 multiplied by 3 and multiplied by 2. And we can actually uh, get the result very quickly and very easy. Uh, now let's look at another example. So uh, later it's called post-fake uh, post notation. Uh, it's written as 4, 7, 3, minus 3, multiplied by 2, minus and plus, uh, which at the glance it doesn't make any sense at all. all right, so uh, what if I tell you that uh, these two expressions are actually the same? All right, so because they are actually the same. Um, so the later case, which is post notation, is actually um, reverse policy notation. And at a glance, we can see that um, there's obvious difference, such as uh, there's no parentheses for, for, uh, for post notation, and there's parentheses for in notation. And uh, the way in notation work is um, there are some uh, rule that we need to follow in order to uh, calculate this expression co correctly, um, such as we need to take care of what inside the parentheses first, and then we have to follow some order such as um, multiplication and division have to start first, and then we can do uh, plus and minus, uh, and also this thing actually, uh, we read it from left to right. And uh, there are some rules as well for post notation. And uh, before we jump to uh, the calculation, um, I will show you in a minute how we can arrive at the same result. Uh, first, let's understand why we actually use uh, reverse policy notation or what we call um, post notation. All right, so um, as we see the obvious difference is that there is no parentheses. So in reverse policy notation, parentheses are actually not required. And there's no specific order of operation, which means that uh, um, plus and minus doesn't have to uh, be calculated uh, later than, than multiplication and uh, division. Right? So all are actually uh, the same as long as it follow from left to right and it that's actually simplified thing uh, second point is it, it easy to read um, probably not for human but it's very easy to read for uh, a low level machine such as calculator um, it's always follow uh, it's we it's can read from left to right so always left to right and so for in fact um, it's also left to right, but we have to jump back and forth because of um, the parentheses and the multiplication. For example, we have four minus uh, parentheses seven, uh, four plus min four plus parentheses seven minus three. But actually, we um, we put four, just uh, we leave four alone, and then we go straight to. Uh, uh, the parentheses of um, 7 minus 3 and then we do the multiplication of uh, multiply by 3 and then we go back to 4 and then minus 2 and so on so uh, same way left to right but we have to jump back and forth depend on the order operation uh, but it's not like that for reverse policy notation and uh, it's one of the application is that it can be used in the calculator. For example, um, this photo is a uh, HP 
uh, certified pocket calculator, which was invented in 1972. Um, I'm sure that all of us, we uh, use a calculator and it's pretty, uh, pretty difficult sometimes to uh, type in the parentheses and and so on. So uh, this is the purpose of reverse policy notation. We just type in all the thing with uh, following uh, left to right order and there's no need for uh, parentheses. And if we actually look at the, the photo of this calculator, there's no uh, button for parentheses as well because it actually use um, reverse policy notation. All right, now that we understand why um, it exists, let's go to uh, see the calculation. All right, so uh, first of all, we will start with the uh, infect notation, which is as always very simple. Um, four plus, take care of the parentheses first, which is seven minus three is also four, multiplied by three minus two. And then we take care of uh, multiplication, four plus 12 minus two, and then we arrive at 14 as a result. Uh, now let's look at the uh, post-swing notation. Um, to, there's a trick that we can use to calculate that, uh, which is called a stack. All right, so uh, here's the rule. Um, now we, we read from left to right. Uh, when we have a number, we put it in a stack. Uh, in the bottom of the stack and then when we come across the operator we do the calculation of the previous uh, number uh, now we have four then four is a number go to stack then we have seven also a number then we have three uh, then we have uh, minus All right so so which mean that uh, we do operation of the previous two. Seven minus three, which is equal four. And then we remove this, we put four. And then another number, which is three. Then the, the multiplication, which mean that uh, three multiplied by four. which is called 12, then we remove this, we put 12, and then there's a, uh, there's two, and we can put two, and there's a minus sign, which means that 12 minus two, it's called 10, we can remove this, put 10, and then the, there's a plus sign, so which means that 10, uh, plus 4. Now we arrive at 14 as well. So this is how we can calculate uh, the expression written in reverse policy notation. Um, it's quite simple when we get used to that. Uh, uh, it's very easy. We can draw a stack and then uh, read from left to right all the numbers go to at go to the bottom of the stack and then when we come across the operator we do the uh, we perform that operation for the previous two number and then record the the result in the stack as well by removing the the previous two uh, number that we just operate on and then following the same thing uh, from left to right uh, then we'll have the the same result. So now you have seen um, how we can uh, work on that and you also uh, learn the uh, the reason why we actually use that and why it exists. Um, it does serve its purpose. Um, for example, the, um, the application of a calculator and uh, uh, that's all for today video i hope you learned something um thank you for sticking around uh, take care